Hello, I'm Greg Lamb with the Slater Group. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Zoho Books. This will be a two-part review. In this first part, I'll give an introduction to Zoho Books and then explore the banking and reconciliation functionality. In the second video, I'll cover income and expenses, getting data in and out, reports, sales taxes, and give a summary of what I think about Zoho Books. Zoho Books is part of a suite of products offered by Zoho. I suspect that if you're already using another product of Zoho, then Zoho Books is even more appealing since you already have an account with Zoho and because certain products of theirs are and will be integrated with Zoho Books. This particular version of Zoho Books that I'm reviewing was newly redesigned and officially launched early in 2014. So if you've previously looked at Zoho Books in 2013 or before, I'd highly recommend you checking them out again. But you're watching this video, so I guess I don't really need to say that. One of the standard things I do when evaluating accountant software is to see whether it has the accountant basics which are accrual accounting, good control over the chart of accounts, and the ability to create journal entries. Zoho Books has all three, so no worries there. This means that small business owners can produce the profit and loss and balance sheet reports needed to see how much money they're making, how much money their company is worth, and how they achieve that worth. Let's dig into the software. Here's the dashboard. I find it to be handy as you can view your main reports quickly and some of the items you can click on or mouse over for more details. For example, if I click on this above 45 days report, it'll take me right to the report. It's also nice to have the projects and bank and credit card accounts readily viewable from here. Although, I would personally like to see this info a little bit closer to the top. It'd be great if Zoho Books gave the ability to reorganize the dashboard. One of the things I really like about Zoho Books is its clean interface and responsiveness. As I click through these different areas, you can see that the pages load up quite fast. It feels like desktop software. I'm really impressed with the speed. I've tested this on several occasions, months apart, and the software has always responded quickly. I like the left-hand navigation that a lot of software, like Zoho Books, is moving to nowadays. In Zoho, if I want to create any type of transaction quickly, I only have to click on the plus icon. Although, I usually end up clicking on the page itself first, and then, the plus icon after. Once you're in a page, it's very quick and easy to sort your data. Just choose from the drop down box what you want to see. For example, you can sort by the invoice status. You can also use this icon over here to sort your data by things like date, vendor name, or amount. As you can see, very fast to load up. Something that also loads up are attachments. Well, to be specific, only image attachments. It's a bit disappointing that I can't preview PDFs in browser. However, if we look at images, they show up as previews quite nicely. Now let me talk about search. It's contextual, so whatever page you're on, it'll search that page. I sometimes found the search results to be hit and miss. However, I like that you can do an advanced search. I have to nitpick and say I'd like to have a little bit more criteria. For example, I'd like to be able to search by description and use parameters like starting with or exactly. But really, it's decent that they even have this search capability. One disappointing thing is that I can't search all transaction types at once. You have to choose one from the list. I'm assuming this is a technical limitation that's not as easy to solve as adding an all option, but that would be nice to see. Something you may not notice right away is that Zoho Books has a responsive design. This means that if I resize the browser window, Zoho will change its formatting accordingly. In most cases, this works out nice. As you can see, the nav bar on the left becomes icons, which when moused over, expands. However, on some pages, the responsive design doesn't quite work, like in the spanking page. The easy fix for this is to resize the page wide enough so the layout displays properly, but hopefully Zoho will get little issues like this fixed up in future updates. One of the first things I test out with online accounting software is how it handles importing, categorizing, and reconciling bank transactions. In Zoho Books, this is found under Banking. As with all online accountant software nowadays, you can set up a bank feed, which automatically brings in transactions, like is done with my PayPal account. However, you can also manually import transactions, like with my bank account. If we go to their import options, they don't quite have all the common formats. They support CSV, TSV, OFX, and QIF, but no QBO or QFX formats. Now you should be able to manage with those formats, but I'd still like to see them supported. So once you import transactions, they'll show up in the Uncategorized Transactions tab. When you click on a transaction, a 
quick entry window pops out from the right. To navigate between transactions, I just need to click on them. However, I'd really like to be able to use my keyboard just to arrow down or up instead of using my mouse. Let's check out this transaction. You can see here some potential matches that were found. Unfortunately, the matching is based initially on whether the amount is the same amount or below. So this transaction has found two expense entries that have not been matched yet that are either $399 or below. Now, you can change your criteria, but you can only choose to match by amount range or date range. I would like it better if this criteria could be expanded upon, and even if you're able to create your own rules for matching criteria. I find that both Xero and QuickBooks Online have better matching functionality than Zoho Books. Another thing I'd like to be able to do is to drill down into these suggested matches to find out more details. But as you can see, clicking does nothing. A feature I do like about Zoho Books is the ability to create categorization rules. If we click on this transaction, you can see the rule being applied. If we scroll down, we'll see a note saying that indeed, transaction details are populated based on the rule Bank of America monthly fee. Now here's a transaction that hasn't been categorized by a rule. If we fill out the details and then save it, you'll see that we have the option to create a rule. Zoho does pre-fill out some of the criteria, but I find it's usually not fine-tuned enough. For example, if I were to use this, I'd click on the add criteria to make the rule better. In fact, Something that I would do is create some rules in advance by going to the gear icon and then to manage transaction rules. Then you click on new rule. There's a bit of options to play with and I generally like the control over rules. Although, if you see the sales without invoice, there's no tax field or no options for multiple line items. This limits what can be done. That being said, most products don't have this level of control over rules, so having rules at all is a bonus. Now, once you categorize your transactions, you can see them by going to the Zoho Books Transactions tab. You can filter the data by clicking on this arrow, so by how a transaction was added and matched. I would like the ability to sort by column header as well though. Currently, the only column that can be sorted is the date column. One thing I really don't understand, and this is true for a lot of online accounting software, is how come there's no run and balance? This would be immensely helpful, especially since Zoho Books doesn't have any reconciliation screen, register screen, or report that will show what the balance in my bank account is after each transaction. Something I like about Zoho Books' banking page is that you can easily create transactions. Look at that, there's tons of options. However, there are a few type of transactions you can't create, like invoices or bills. You can of course do that from the invoices or bills pages over here. However, that's something I'll show in the second video, along with getting data in and out, reports, sales taxes, and my overall opinion of what I think about Zoho Books.